Hey, this is uh, the display of my uh, of the new project I'm working on. I call it the Dead Village. Uh, so the entire idea, um, I grew up in the really uh, countryside with no running water or anything uh, uh, in the north of Russia. And so I never visited that village. Um, it's uh, the village where my great-grandparents uh, were born. And I missed the opportunity because I came to Moscow and then I came to New York. And so um, recently I've had the deep feeling about like homesick. And so I created from my imagination uh, the village where my great-grandparents were born. And um, all right, uh, so this is the first piece and uh, I tried to build like a typical example of the old school of Russian village and uh, they're all empty and they're all uh, semi, um, you know, um, damaged because um, uh, my great grandparents uh, died during World War II. That's when uh, the village existed. So uh, none of us uh, ever saw it again. Uh, so uh, whatever was the inside of the houses, etc., it was all missing because uh, of the robbery, etc. So this is the typical uh, Russian church, Orthodox church. Uh, but uh, the main thing where I'm from, which is uh, my hometown is called Archangel, so this is from Archangel region. So this particular church was uh, built uh, with no single um, screw or um, anything. So it's just like pieces of wood attached to each other, so it stays for decades. So this is like remains of my interpretation of the part of the dead village. Uh, that's uh, the name of the installation I'm working on. So this is another example of that village, how I would imagine it. So this is a typical, like, you know, trees we would have. We would always have a farm with the little pigs. Cows are going to be over there. Some pigs are making babies. Some pigs are eating some food. This is a tiny toilet, as I mentioned before. We don't have running water, so the toilet would be placed outdoors. So you have to figure out how to do that. <laughs> so the most, uh, the richest people in that village were the people who would own the cows. So they can sell the meat and the milk and other things. So I have some cows here, some cows are making babies. They're all detachable and movable. Um, so this is another example of uh, like a, I would call it a farm for the cows. This is another toilet. This, this is like a drunken person over there sleeping in the toilet by accident. <laughs> this is a little bit too much. Um, so, um, as you guys know, so my background is uh, very deep in Russia, in the countryside, in the north uh, part of the country. Uh, so this is uh, this represents the diversity of my life experience nowadays here in New York, and um, so um, this is a contradiction of the culture and the society, I guess. So um, I call it um, I just call it uh, random Russian names, but they're all like partying. <laughs> and they're experiencing life in New York. <laughs> my name is Eric Hansen. This is my piece. It's called Young Americans. Uh, it's, it's a record of my experience of listening to David Bowie's Young Americans album. Each flower I made while listening to one of the songs. So the longer songs have bigger flowers, the shorter songs uh, have smaller flowers. And um, I just try and make records of ethereal experiences because uh, that's what life is made up of. Uh, my name's Justin Manor. Uh, I'm a sculptor and a painter. Uh, I'm kind of a bit of an artist of, of all things. Uh, I like to craft things, make things with my hands. Uh, this is one of my pieces here. I call this the 
modern American girl. Uh, kind of look at it as a reflection of you know what, what a young lady can be today. She can kind of be a little different, funky, uh, art style. I'd say that uh, there's definitely a bit of uh, you know emotion going on in this piece. Maybe a bit of uh, a lost soul. Tell the girl could be a little confused as to, to where she fits into society. And I placed a number of objects in here as a installation of, uh, of different art pieces, which can almost be a reflection of you know, different qualities of myself. Um, you know, I've always been, you know, interested in kind of different people. Um, maybe, maybe people are a little fringe side of uh, society. People have unique character traits, and I think this girl really reflects that. Uh, interesting note is that I actually worked on this piece probably for about six years uh, for it to come to fruition. Uh, I had sculpted it and. It had been sitting, uh, sitting in the studio that I worked at for years, and finally get, got in there and, and painted it. And uh, you know, in the last year, I got into tattooing. You know, that's why I decided to give give her all these kind of you know pretty raw, uh, rugged tattoos, which uh, is definitely an interest of mine nowadays. Hello, my name is Michael Krasowitz and this is my ceramic piece. I will tell you a little bit about the evolution of this project before we talk about the piece itself. Um, about three years ago, I did a monoprint project where I was, uh, the kind of conceptual framework of the piece was that I would create one monoprint with open-ended and then without knowing what the next piece was going to be, I created the next monoprint and the next monoprint. And I was building these grids. And the final project on that piece was a 360 degree painting where you would stood inside and the floor and the ceiling and the walls all connected into one image. So a few years ago I started doing working with clay. I was working, I just started recently working with ceramics. Before I was working with uh, plastiline, which wouldn't set eventually. So it was always liquid and it wasn't permanent. So I started using regular ceramics. And I, came up with, I wanted to continue that idea of the continuous picture. So what I did here is I started with one piece with no idea of where it's going to go. I like the, the idea that of art is discovery and that I don't know where it's going to go until that actually happens. So I built one piece and then I open-ended it and then I extended it to the next piece. And this, this grid is the beginning of this piece. This piece is ultimately going to be a four foot by four foot wall once I finish with it. And this is the first, the first iteration. Uh, so the idea is that I don't know what I'm going to do until I make it. And the way I think about what the work means is, I think of it as like a trigger. Um, the best way to explain it is, like sometimes you're walking around and you're in the real world and everything is defined by the real world. And then all of a sudden you're standing there and you feel like you're in a dream and everything is like a dream world and you're like, whoa, the real world is just something in part of my mind. And then all of a sudden everything is a dream and I'm just living in the moment. I think of this work as kind of a trigger to get you from the one world to the other world. So I think of it as, uh, Addis Huxley talked about antipodes, and I think of it as that. I think of it as a psychological trigger to bring you from the physical world, where everything is defined in the physical world, to opening you up to the idea that you're living just in the moment, and that it's, it kind of works like a hallucinogen it triggers that certain part of your subconscious mind to activate it. And that's what I think of these pieces. Hi, uh, my name is uh, Vinny Osmers. I'm a ceramic artist. I've been working with clay for about 16 years or so. Uh, the piece you're looking at here, uh, it was created in 2014. Uh, I call her My Little Girl. Um, she uh, expresses uh, ideas about uh, evolution. She has a blank stare. Her um, eyes signify um, the unknown without the pupils. Um, she kind of has a sense of uh, transformation and, and growth and rebirth 
In this piece, she's holding uh, what I call a, like a futuristic type of egg. Um, she's also held hearts, bombs, um, seeds, flowers. So depending on the show, I might alter uh, her reality and how the viewers perceive her. Um, so um, for my sculpture world, you know, she's one of uh, my many creatures. I'm constantly uh, evolving and changing, and that's uh, what happens in, in real life and through, through the work of uh, many artists. Um, so, um, currently, I'm still uh, creating a ceramic work. I'm also um, working on being an educator uh, to help uh, you know, students grow, teach them, and um, you know, learn from them as well.